the first time I ever spent more than 100 hours with a video game was when I was 10 years old, and the arcade game construction kit somehow magically entered my life. There was an entire year where that five and a quarter inch disc never left my Commodore 64, as I toiled away endlessly, doing something I never thought I'd be able to do, create my own video game from scratch. I've always had ideas for games and have always been somewhat artistic, but I've never had any desire to learn how to program or code. So this was basically a dream come true. Fast forward 30 years and I'm having the exact same mind-blowing experience all over again, this time with Media Molecule's dreams, and this time in VR. If you've only seen Dreams in passing, you might have mistaken it for a simple platformer, or first-person shooter, or a driving game, because it is in essence all of these things, but also none of these. Whereas the arcade game construction kit only really allowed you to make shooters and top-down adventures, Dreams lets you make any kind of game you can think of, and it's hard not to be enamored by the hundreds of PlayStation VR creations that adorn the Dreams search page already. There are so many amazing games here in practically every genre you can think of. Sure, most of them can be finished in about 10 to 20 minutes at most, but remember that these aren't professional game developers. They're people just like us that go to school or work full-time jobs and are making games in dreams for fun. And a good number of them take this hobby extremely seriously. I can't even imagine the number of hours that S. Doran and Sandora Bros spent making the Motorstorm-inspired racer Tectonic, or that Wargarble spent making his twisted platformer, Me. Can we just stop for a second though and realize how insane it is that we can make PSVR games and that they can look this good? Now, on the OG PS4 and to some degree even the PlayStation 4 Pro, donning the PSVR headset can make these games pretty blurry, but Dreams uses dynamic resolution when rendering the image, meaning that it's basically outputting the visuals on a sliding scale, depending on what console you're playing on. And on the PlayStation 5, these games look gorgeous in VR. So I'm gonna say right now that if you're on the OG PS4, you might want to stick to the flat screen stuff, then only move over to playing and making VR games once you've upgraded to either the Pro or the PS5. So how easy is it to make stuff in Dreams? Well, don't expect to just drop in and make something magical on day one. These tools are incredibly deep and surprisingly powerful. So even after you finish all the tutorials, which will take hours and hours and hours to do, there's still a huge learning curve that'll keep you discovering new techniques and new abilities for months. But honestly, I'm not the guy to talk about that with any kind of proficiency. So let's kick it over to prolific Dreams creator Wargarble for his take on the creation side of things. Hey everyone, I'm Ethan, some of you might recognize me by the name Wargarble, and Brian has asked me to discuss the creation side of dreams. The creation side of dreams is incredibly deep and way more user-friendly than most other creative software on PC. Dreams offers an abundance of tools and gadgets that you can use to make anything you can think of, such as games, animations, still art, and music. The only exception here is online multiplayer games, as that is still in the works. Now even though it is more approachable than other programs, there is still a learning curve, but with a little time, patience, and an idea that you love, you'll be able to create that idea all from scratch. Or you can browse the Dreamiverse for a plethora of various characters, sculpts, environments, music, and even some logic sets for you to use. I personally would highly recommend starting with the tutorials made by Media Molecule on things like basic controls and movement, sculpting, lighting, coats, style and effects, animation, and wiring and logic. You can also access these videos when in create mode. Press options, go up to the video player and select the tutorial you are interested in and a window will open on your screen with the video playing while you create. You can create with the DualShock, DualSense when not in VR, and the Move controllers. Every option here is honestly great. Try each to see what fits best for you. I personally use the DualShock for the majority of things I do. 
I have personally found that lowering the sensitivity of your imp helps out a lot and allows me to even make drawings and dreams with great precision. Now I will warn that one issue currently is that the DualShock will get very bad imp drift when used in VR. The moves are your best option there. The last thing I would like to say is that before Dreams, I didn't have any prior experience with 3D sculpting and I still don't know much about logic. But I was still able to jump in and just try things. And I have made a handful of games that I am proud of even with the lack of logic knowledge. And the way I work is I don't plan anything. So this was just completely unplanned. I had no idea I was going to make a bird or anything like that. I just was going to make something for this review. And this is what it turned out to be. Um, again, very, very quick sort of thing. And, and so once you get used to those tools, you can be quick like this. And it's really fun. It's really satisfying. Thanks, Ethan. So just to wrap things up, the developers over at Media Molecule are constantly listening to feedback, updating the toolkit, adding aim support, and even have online multiplayer in the works. The fact is, is that Dreams is only $20. And even if you never attempt to make your own game, there's still so much fun user-created content here that'll last you for weeks, with even more being uploaded every day. But if and when you finally take the plunge and go down the dreams creation rabbit hole, whether that be to make a simple drawing, animation, or a full-fledged game, that's when the value proposition here goes through the roof. If 10-year-old Brian could see what the future held for him, he'd be in disbelief. Dreams, to me at least, might be the single greatest thing ever made for consoles. 